Hi guys, here is Yvonne. Welcome to this channel. Today we will discuss the steps involved in registering a digital wireless gateway with 3CX for inbound and outbound calls. The UC2000 series wheel IP gateways offer a full range of options from 1 to 32 channels, enabling smooth transmission between mobile and wheel IP networks. 3CX is a software provide branch exchange based on the SIP standard. It enables extension to make calls through the public switch, the telephone network, or inter protocol voice service. One popular use case for Dinstar UC2000 gateways is to integrate them with 3CX. This integration enables business to make and receive calls using their Dinstar gateways through the 3CX system. We can integrate the gateways and PBX for local network environment for internet and VPN. Basically, once we ensure both devices are accessible to each other, the integration will be realized by SIP. The only thing left here is just to figure out the code out. Alright, check it out. Take this scenario as an example. Different network environments for UC2000 and 3CX. Here we will simulate the docking of the public 3CX with the private UC2000. Since we don't have public IP resource, in this example, we assume that 172 is the public IP segment and 192.168.11 is the private IP segment. The UC2000 G0 port is connected to the LAN port of the router and the 3CX is connected to the WAN port of the router. Ok, let's get into configuration. Ok, let's configure 3CX first. Click extension. Add an account for SIP test extension. The PBX will assign an extension to you automatically, as you see. Now it's 125. Outbound core ID is 125 also. And set and password. After this war, we have to ship to phone provisioning page and the authentication information. Please know that it's very important. If you forget it, the extension won't be registered. Click OK now. Next step, create a SIP trunk to connect to the UC2000 device with the system. Add a gateway. Brand select generic. Module or device choose generic gateway device. And here we enter age. We set the main trunk number as 8889. Enter the details of the trunk. Enter name, server IP, numbers of SIMs, calls. And also the authentication information. The authentication ID is assigned by the system, which will be used for UCT cells and port group registration. Next step, create inbound rules for the core from carrier to extension 125. At last, Create an outbound rules for the core for an SIP extension to cord. Of course, we can set some rules on the core like here. So far, the 3CX configuration is completed. Click Core Configuration, SIP Configuration, and the 3CX and SIP port here.
then save it. Please note that we have to restore the device to take effect. Next step, create port group. Enter the authenticated account information. The VIP hotline here we set 8889 and choose to register to zip server. Next step, create routes. For the core testing, include two directions. So we have to write the inbound and outbound routes. The outbound route source is zip server and destination is pod group. The inbound route source is pod group and destination is zip server. At last, let's ready 125 extension. Now, the registration process is completed. Let's make a core test from both internal and external numbers to what find that the cores are being routed through the Dingstar UCT cells in the gateway and 3CX system. Make outgoing from test test from Let's check the incoming for testing now. Alright, hope you like it. Read more detailed solutions about Dingstar. Don't forget to visit dingstar.com. And I will catch you guys in the next video.